All right, welcome to Greg Stoneyard. So we're doing unboxing here of the DMC2. So there's five boxes. These two are a, uh, ridiculously heavy. Uh, the other ones aren't too bad. Uh, so I'll just uh, set it up in time lapse here and I'll uh, open these up and then we'll see what's inside. So inside everything's nicely shrink wrapped, padding both ends. On this one, anyway, I'll keep going here. Box. There's a few unpainted parts there. I might uh, hit those with spray can. Uh, these look like bearing block holders or something. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bit of a Bit of a burr on that one. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with uh, the bearing that goes in there. Um, I would say the powder coating, I'll give it a C. It, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but there's, there's lots of either dirt or uh, there was rust on these before they were, they were powder coated. You can see all the uh, the flaws in that. This side's not too bad, but it's far from perfect. Uh, and the big uh, aluminum plate here. The would have been nice if the edges were chamfered. Right now, it's just uh, probably water jet cut. Or maybe even plasma, I'm not sure. And uh, it's a it's a rough edge. Okay, I'll keep going. All the uh, Structural steel. Uh, some of this is pretty beefy. That's a quarter inch tube. Uh, again, the powder coating, I think it these weren't cleaned up very well before powder coating. Uh, there's either rust or mill scale on them. Most of them aren't too bad. But you can see there's a few here that's that's pretty rough. And it's good to know, I don't know if you can read that, but it's uh, made in Canada steel. Anyway, I'll uh, move these out of the way and go on to the next box. Okay, that was, I'm guessing this is mostly the enclosure, all this stuff here, and then there's these, these pieces over here. I'll be the trip tray. All right, let me get this as the chip tray. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of pieces. Um, okay, let's see if we can look at the quality here. Anyway, I'll uh, 
move some of this out of the way and get to the last two boxes. Okay, this box was mostly electronics, cables, board in here, some LED lights, I believe these are the motors, the stepper motors, and ch or sorry www.czhdmotor.com uh, I ordered the vice so that's in this box as well edge finder tooling and the VFD okay on to the last box Into this one just make sure you don't cut because you've got uh, some lines right here you don't want to uh, nick with your knife okay I'll uh, pull everything out of here this looks like it's got hardware in it and anyway we'll see once I get it all out So in here it looks like we've got uh, way covers, uh, a tool for the spindle, and uh, some miscellaneous wiring. Sorry, these were the bearing blocks, not the not the motors. These are the uh, motors here. And then we've got some limit switches, uh, motor wiring. got the uh, jog wheel so that's in this box switching power supply uh, more bearing blocks in here actually I actually have to check what's in that one uh, some more mounts uh, unpainted um, stepper motor drives uh, these were probably for the pump, the coolant pump, but I got sent the uh, one with a, an adapter for European. Actually, both of them are. I mean, I don't think they... I tried to pull this off, it doesn't look like it comes off. And so that's one thing to check on yours. Water pump. Uh, call it set. Linear ways, ball screws, some miscellaneous uh, flex, plexiglass, and the big thing of hardware. And unfortunately, none of it's available. Um, any other kit I've had to this scale will label each of these bags, which makes uh, assembly a lot easier when you know which bag to grab. So, anyway. I mean, if everything's different, it won't be that bad, but expend, expect to spend some time sorting things out. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we got some stickers. Uh, so, uh, I'll end.
that here. Thanks for watching.